John the Tech here from Lynx Will Automotive. In this video, we're going to be installing our 8 inch screen upgrade for the Mustang that comes with the factory 4 inch. Now, in each kit, you'll come with the 8 inch dash replacement piece, uh, some black tabs for your buttons. We'll get to that in the install. Your interface piece, this is going to actually plug into the sink and get involved in the factory sink pieces. Obviously, your installation guide, your auxiliary input uh, with USB, GPS antenna for your navigation, T harness because we want to make sure everything's super easy on the install. It's all going to be plug and play. HDMI so that you can uh, stream your phone in, and the rear view camera backup interface to make sure that your factory backup camera works as well is giving you an option if you don't have the factory backup camera to add one. Okay, for the first part of the install, we're going to have to pull the old, the old dash piece out. So in order to do that, we're going to pull this air vent piece off, which just snaps off. There'll be two screws, seven millimeters behind here. We'll take our screwdriver, we'll pull off this little panel here, there'll be two more there. Now, I know in our instruction manual, that's what all it says, but what I've figured out is it's a little bit of work to finagle out that, that dash piece. So if we actually take there's two seven millimeters here, and if we snap off the two side panels here on the center console, there will be two seven millimeters there as well. And if we pull those out, it'll give us an opportunity to pull this top center piece of the console back just enough to really kind of help us pull that dash piece out. Uh, so it's not in our instruction manual, just something I found out after the fact. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and speed the video up while I take this apart, and we'll talk about how we're going to pull all of the buttons out of the factory dash and put it into our new dash. <music> So there we go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this over to our table real quick. We're going to talk about pulling this stuff out and putting it back into our new dash. All right, so here we have the factory piece that we just removed, and here we have our new piece with our 8-inch screen. So what we have to do now is we're going to have to flip around the factory one. There's going to be 15 T10s here that we're going to pull off to pull off this back piece. There will be seven more T10s holding the circuit board down. So we're going to take this apart so that we can put it into our new one. Uh, so I'll speed up the video and uh, get to the point to where we got the circuit board out, and then we'll talk some more. Okay, real quick, one thing to notice. The screws that come out of our circuit board are a little bit shorter than the screws that come out of the back panel. So you want to make sure that you keep those things kind of separated in different piles so when you reassemble them, you don't put the wrong screws in the wrong spots. All right, so now that we have the circuit board unscrewed, we're going to take this apart real careful like. And put this off to the side. We'll need it in just a minute. Now, one thing I want to make sure we take some time on is all these plastic pieces here. Now, these are the things that actually go between the electronics and the actual push button. So we want to make sure that we put them back in the same way that we pull them out as well. If you remember, I told you earlier in the video that we were going to replace a set. Uh, and then we're, so what we're going to replace is this one here that's attached to uh, the six button or the nine buttons for your radio as well as the presets. But now that we have a touch screen, we don't need this piece, so we'll be replacing it with this. So we want to make sure we take these out in a certain order and put them back in a certain order. So let's go ahead and pull those rubbers out, lay them off to the side. And now all of this is going to come out in certain order, so we want to take the the preset buttons out of the way for us, and then we're going to take uh, the CD holder thing for us, the uh, nine button thing, our AC controls will be next, and then our push to start buttons will come out. Now one thing that's very easy for us to forget is the dust trap for the CD. So we want to make sure we pull that out as well. And there is a clear plastic for the light that we want to get out. If you can see that there, we want to make sure we get that out as well. So now we're going to put everything back in in reverse order. So we're going to take first our little plastic piece for our light. It's going to go in there. Make sure that's in there snug. Then we're going to put our dust cap in. Take our buttons, put those back in. Next will be the bottom end here. We're going to put our push to start buttons in followed by our air conditioning controls and then our CD. Now 
go ahead and put the uh, rubber pieces back in. Now if you notice there will be little holes that will line up with little pegs. We want to make sure we get those in nice and flush and that they aren't overlapping, that the uh, buttons are not hanging up on anything. Otherwise our buttons when we go to push them won't work. All right, so there you have that. Now we're going to go ahead and take our circuit board back. We're going to put our circuit board in. Now one thing I want you to notice is on the circuit board, the temperature control knob has a tab on it that makes it so that it can go only a certain direction. So we want to make sure that that tab is actually going to be kind of pointed down so that it's in between so that it doesn't get stuck on that so that we can actually turn the knob all the way around. Okay, so now that we have the circuit board back in place and the knobs turned, we're going to go ahead and put these screws back in. Now we'll say we'll have two extra screws because with the bigger screen, these two top screws here, there's not spots for those screws to go in. So you'll have two extra short ones. Alright, now that we have the circuit board screwed back in, we're going to put our new backing on. Now these four last screws you don't want to put in quite yet because you need to install our sync adapter. So what this is going to do, you can see our ribbon cable here and two main poles. So we're going to line those up here. Be careful as we push this in, just kind of go slowly, make sure that it, it lines up good. Push it in nice and snug. And then we'll take these four screw holes here to mount this to the back of our screen. And there you go. And just as you did with the circuit board, you're going to have three extra screws for the back panel because you're not going to be able to go on the, the inside and the bottom inside one of that small screen. We're not quite yet with the down with the dash. We want to make sure that we don't go all the way through and forget to pull out the cigarette lighter. That would be no fun. So the way you get the cigarette lighter out is you get a little flathead screwdriver. You want to pry out these little plastic pieces here, which will let the metal piece slide out and then the plastic will come out with it. And there you have it. It's ready to go in the car. All right, so now that we've got the dash panel reassembled, uh, we're going to go and we're going to take out our four inch screen because we no longer need that. And we're going to pull out our radio so that we can get behind it so that we can plug in our T harness. Uh, we also have to put in our, our navigation antenna. Uh, easiest place for this is this panel here will pop up. Just put it right up top there, run your wires down nice and easy. Uh, this will plug into the screen. And as well, we'll have our our HDMI that we can run into the glove box, into the center console, kind of whatever your customer feels is best. And we have a, uh, our interface for our backup camera so we can make sure our factory backup camera still works. So same thing, I'm going to get going, we'll speed up the video and we'll talk on the other side of it. So there you see, we got our two plugs. There's our two uh, T-harness plugs. We're going to T-harness that in. This side of our T-harness, we're going to run up so that we can plug it into the screen that we just installed. Take our adapter, plug it into what the factor screen was for our rear camera. <clears throat> now that we've got everything ran, I just went ahead and ran our USB and our HDMI into the glove box, which is the easiest install for our video. Uh, but everything's going to plug into our screen adapter, uh, so we want to make sure we kind of clean that up a little bit, put some zip ties on it, make sure wires aren't hanging. So there we go, we got all our stuff, let's plug them in. So once it's all snapped in, we want to make sure uh, these harnesses here, we want to be very careful when we put it in as well as the, the plugs that plug into the back of this monitor because they're really going to want to hang down here in front of the CD input and we want to make sure that we don't do that. So when we put it in, just make sure that you're, you're watching those harnesses back there. It'll clip in. So we're going to do just like we did in reverse order is taking it apart. We're going to put our four seven mils in here and start reassembling our dash. Turn it on and see if it works. Thank you. 
So there you have it. We went from a little four inch non touch screen to an eight inch touch screen. We we're able to see our climate controls and everything on there. So this is our dash replacement for the 2015 to 2017 Ford Mustang. We also offer Sync 2, Sync 3 interfaces where you can add navigation, uh, multi camera controls. We do the uh, GMC, the Chevy, the MyLink systems. Uh, so check us out. Our, our, our Facebook is uh, Linkswell Inc. Uh, you can follow our Twitter. Uh, you can check out our website, www.linkswellinc.com. Uh, we'll have more videos up as we have new products coming out. We'll try new cars. We'll do some installs. Uh, so give us a like. Uh, tell us what you think and keep on installing.